is a great day for Wisconsin. Nice bipartisan win for our local folks. We have a united voice in being very, uh, very opposed to some of these attacks on local control. Wisconsin's governor praises the newly signed shared revenue blueprint, but the reaction is very different at Milwaukee City Hall. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Natalie Shepard. I'm Jessa Breisbeck. We appreciate you being there. The bill signed by Governor Tony Evers today establishes the formula for sending state money to local governments. And to get to today's signing, it did take some give and take on both sides. But as we learned today, some of the strings attached to the money earmarked for Milwaukee could lead to a challenge in court. It's a complicated story and our political team has it covered for you tonight. AJ Bayapur is in Milwaukee with city leaders reaction. But first we start in Madison where Capitol correspondent Emily Fannin is live with details of the shared revenue plan and what they mean for our hometowns. Emily. Jessup, Natalie, under this new law, counties and municipalities would see an additional $247 million. It comes after many communities were calling on lawmakers to provide more state aid to them, which is known as shared revenue, to help them pay for services like police, fire, and EMS, as many communities have had made cuts to those services over the years without this additional revenue. At the bill signing ceremony with Governor Evers in Wausau, he was surrounded by Republicans, Democrats, and Milwaukee officials. All sides came together to get this done, which will also help save Milwaukee from going bankrupt. The city will now be able to pursue a 2% sales tax increase, and the county can bump theirs up to 0.9% if approved by a two-thirds vote. It's money they can now use to pay down its pension debt and invest in things like police after officials warned about the dire cuts they were facing. For some individuals, this was just a bill. But for the individuals in the city of Milwaukee who are on the verge of insolvency, this means an opportunity to start over. Governor Evers also quietly signed an education funding bill this morning, which was also part of the deal he made with GOP leaders. Under that plan, public schools would receive a $1 billion investment. Private voucher schools would see increased payments for students as well. Now the attention turns to City Hall and the County Board of Supervisors, as many members are frustrated with how this bill also restricts how they can spend that new tax revenue. For now, I'm going to send it over to my colleague, AJ. Bayapur in Milwaukee who talked to some of those members and those frustrated